with those holiday greetings and greetings. St. Nicholas is not coming this year. Instead, a much darker ancient spirit. Birds, elk, or goat? What kind of goat walks on its hind legs? His name is Krampus. I actually, to be honest with you, because uh, I'm from Belgium and I've never even heard of Krampus hmm. until last night when I tweeted about the movie. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people from Austria, they're like generally scared to death. <laughs> when you bring up the word Krampus, they go crazy. Yeah, well, they, they take the celebration to an extreme. Yeah, there, for sure. Yeah, yeah, they take it very seriously. Yeah. Um, when was the first time you heard about him? Because I, I'm from Belgium, I've never heard of him. Really? Yeah. I thought that's where... It all started yeah. in Europe? Yeah. Maybe I've been living under a rock. I don't, don't know. Don't they have like Krampus festivals over there? Um, They do in, in Bavaria, in Germany. Oh, okay, okay. And in Austria, but not in Belgium. Oh, okay. Um, I, I mean, I very generally knew, kind of vaguely knew what the creature was, but didn't know any of the folklore or anything until, yeah. you know, worked on the movie. Mm -hmm. um, how does Christmas look at uh, look like at your house? Do you have any traditions, or what do you guys do? It's very traditional. Uh -huh. I mean, it is um, wreaths and garland and ornaments yeah. and trees, but a lot of Krampus yeah. imagery. The fun part about the character and the folklore is that over the decades, people have started creating Krampus ornaments and stockings. Oh, Jesus. And basically, <laughs> anything you can find for Christmas, you can find the Krampus equivalent of cookie cutters. Everything. I so. don't want it. <laughs> no, it's scared awesome. for that stuff. It's great. It's a um, little, little taste of Halloween in your Christmas. Yeah. You know, underneath all the, you know, scary stuff, I thought it was a really pure, sweet movie. What is also interesting about this this movie is that it was shot in New Zealand. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about that? Just about, tell me a little bit about the sets, just being there. Well, first of all, Wellington's so beautiful. New Zealand is one of the most beautiful mm -hmm. places I've ever been. Um, and they're very laid back, very dedicated crew, very efficient. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, deft crew. Mm -hmm. um, I think they used it because, I think we shot in New Zealand because of Weta Workshop, you know? Their work is so brilliant mm -hmm. and they made all the, the puppets in the movie. Yeah. They worked on all the Peter Jackson's movies, so they're yeah. very well trained. Uh, and then one of the biggest reasons was Weta. Uh, Weta Workshop did our creatures, our mm -hmm. physical creatures, and then Weta Digital did the digital stuff yeah. and um, the combination of those two teams is unrivaled. They have great uh, post facilities as well. He's mm -hmm. really created this fantastic little world of filmmaking down there. It looked like it does in the movie really. Um, I mean we shot the whole movie on stages so we mm -hmm. were inside the entire time. Uh, and Yeah they're incredible sets. I mean the, the house was an incredible set. The, the street and the snow and the the exterior of the houses were, were sets, and uh, yeah, it was it it was the the production design on the movie is incredible. Yeah, um, and it was uh, it was kind of an isolated joy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did, really did feel so far away. I mean, yeah. I grew up in Australia, and I did. Yeah. I, this just felt so much more isolated. Yeah. Um, it was such a pleasure. We had the luxury of shooting mostly sequentially because the mm -hmm. house itself starts to deteriorate as, as things go go wrong. Yeah. Um, but it was a really easy set, you know. There were so many kids and their enthusiasm was infectious yeah. and the story itself has a kind of giddy kid-like quality. And um, so yeah, it was a great yeah. one. Uh, talk about horror a little bit. What's the first thing that comes up in your mind when you think about horror? Um... Oh, I really love supernatural horror mm -hmm. and monster movies. Okay. Um, I appreciate slasher films if they're really well done. Yeah. You know, Hitchcock did them right. Um, Psycho being one of the best ones. Yeah. Friday the Thirteenth. Okay. Because that's that was sort of my introduction to, mm -hmm. and Halloween, the first Halloween movie. Um, that's sort of where my head goes right yeah. away. Yeah. And the last time you were scared. Like for real scared. For real scared. <laughs> Um, geez, I don't know. That's such a good question. Um, you know, I thought I, I thought I lost my dog recently. He took off and I couldn't find him. Um, took off out of our yard and 
that's not a good answer, but that. I'm just, well, I I can relate to that. Yeah. I have three dogs myself. Yeah, so they I, take off. They leave. Yeah. From December of last year, mm -hmm. I, I flew to New Zealand to start prep on December fifth, which was yeah. Krampus knocked. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So I landed on landed in New Zealand on Krampus knocked, and then we're releasing the movie exactly one year later. Yeah. So the whole year was nothing but making this movie. Yeah. I'm thankful for all the people that came together to make this movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was a huge team effort of uh, a lot of really talented people, both in front of mm -hmm. and behind the camera, and people gave it their all. Yeah.